What's going on everybody? It's Devin aka Hyperfane Gaming back at you again with another video. And this one is all about the medium. Let's get to it. During the May Inside Xbox presentation, Xbox showed a bunch of new games that were coming to the Xbox Series X and S. And one of those games presented at that show was The Medium, an upcoming horror game developed by the Bloober team, the company behind games like Observer, the 2019 Blair Witch game, and the Layers of Fear series. Now, the Bloober team brings another psychological horror game, only this time it is cross the world of the living and the dead to solve mysteries revolving around a great tragedy. Yes, that is right. The release date for this game was set to be December 10th, 2020, just a month after the release of the new consoles, the Xbox Series X and Series S, were put out on November 10th. But uh, prolonging that uh, with the coronavirus in Poland, not to mention the highly anticipated Cyberpunk 2077 set to be releasing on the same day they delayed it back to 2021 specifically january 28th ongoing the medium story here we are the medium is set in krakow poland i probably butchered the shit out of that name krakow krakow poland in the late 90s and you play as you guessed it a medium a medium named Marianne. After being haunted by her visions, Marianne decided to go to an abandoned hotel in Krakow, Krakow, where she is set to discover the mysteries behind a terrible tragedy that happened there years in the past. You will have to use your abilities to travel between multiple worlds the real world in the spirit world to uncover the mysteries and find out what exactly happened and what is going on. According to the medium's official website, we've only, we, we've have seen about half, maybe a little over, maybe a little less than half so far about the game, but it feels like we've seen a little bit less I would say, but we, we don't really know much about the story, but we definitely want to get involved with it. It seems like the Bluebird team, it seems like Bluebird team is hiding a real good meaning of their game behind this story. And I just can't wait to figure out more. That being said, the medium will focus on perspective and duality. And we're not only talking about Marianne's ability to travel between worlds, but the story as a whole is meant to give you different perspectives on what you know and what you think is the truth. As they say, there are two sides to every story. Pony? <laughs> as of right now, and as far as my knowledge... The medium will only be available on Xbox Series X, Xbox Series X, what the fuck? The medium will only be available on the Xbox Series X and S and the PC. Fuck them other consoles. It's probably not going there. The developers have said there are no plans on releasing it on other consoles. That being said, an interview with one of the games producers explained how the power of the upcoming xbox consoles had the necessary power they needed to fulfill their vision and fortunately for pc gamers the medium will also come to pc and is already listed on steam by the way the medium brings back silent hill memories of course for all you horror game fans 
Many people thought about Silent Hill when the medium was first revealed. The unsettling atmosphere and the eerie music that reminded you of the Silent Hill series aren't just a coincidence. During an interview with a Bloober team, with uh, I, I can't pronounce their fucking names, uh, producers of the game, during an interview with them, they explain how most from their team are inspired by the Silent Hill series and how the medium is like a love letter to Silent Hill. Not only that, but the legendary Akira Yamaoka, 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 what the fuck, I can't pronounce these fucking words, famous Silent Hill composer, music, sound, what have you, to make that shit sound creepy, make that shit sound good, make that shit sound silent and scary, you know what I'm saying, he's in charge of the medium soundtrack alongside with somebody else from the Bloober team that I can't pronounce his name either, that being said, they also explain how the medium is a completely different game, how it is a completely different game from Silent Hill. It has its own story while still bringing a Silent Hill vibe, period. The medium will introduce a unique dual reality gameplay. The main premise of the medium is the ability to travel between worlds. The real world in the spirit world at the same time. Blueberry Team is calling this dual reality gameplay. It's a unique feature that will let you be in both worlds at the same time. We first saw this game mechanic in action during the, da- during the gameplay showcase video. When they showcased it on their YouTube channel, Twitter, etc, etc. When playing in dual reality, the game will show Marianne in both the real world and the spirit world. You move between both worlds at the same time, exploring the differences between them and interacting with different objects to solve puzzles. Both worlds are intertwined, so some things you do in the real world will affect the spirit world and vice versa. Besides changing hair color, Marianne also has different abilities in the spirit world. One of them is her out-of-body ability, which lets her... Let's her leave her physical body behind to explore the spirit world. You can only do this for a certain amount of time or it'll start affecting your physical body. Like you'll literally disintegrate. Your body will disintegrate if you are in this form for too long. Also, Marianne has other psychic abilities inside the spirit world, such as spirit blast, which you can use to attack spirits or use it to interact with objects in the spirit world. That also could affect the real world simultaneously. These abilities are not infinite and Marianne will have to recharge with the help of energy spots. Which are things that you can find in the game. I'm guessing only in the spirit world. You can find these recharge spots. Etc. Etc. Um, I have to say that this game, the more I see it, I mean, they just released a 14 minute video of gameplay today. I have some of it on the screen here for you now. Uh, it looks crazy. It, it looks absolutely insane to me. Like the dual reality gameplay, the out of body, the disintegration, it, everything just looks so fucking cool to me, guys. And I, I definitely cannot wait for this game. I'm hyped. Hold on a second as I light my cigarette. Like I seen a guy put one out in the reveal trailer. Hold on in one second. Yeah, I cannot wait for the medium. It's been a long time since I put out a video. But, you know, here you go. I'm trying my best. I haven't been feeling too great. I missed WBG last night. I'm sorry. Much love to everybody that came out. Show support to Dirt Griggity's YouTube channel. Much love to you guys. You already know it's WBG. We bleed green. But yeah, man. With all that said and done, this game is coming out in a mere few weeks. And I just can't wait. It's Game Pass Day 1. Did I mention that? Game Pass Day 1. One more time. Game Pass Day 1! Let's go! They're starting to open the floodgates here in the Xbox camp. 
we might see Bethesda games. They might be exclusive. We don't know yet. Let the deal settle. All that said, it's Devin, Hyperfang Gaming, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.